And welcome back to the channel guys, GVids here. Today we are on SnowRunner and we're going to be going over a super easy unlimited money or truck duplication glitch. Uh, so for that guys, you're going to want to go into co-op and we're going to want to prime this. So if you guys actually aren't in Alaska right away, you're actually going to want to go to solo mode and you're going to want to bring yourself to Alaska with your vehicles by retaining them, bringing them to Alaska and then backing out, going back to co-op and that way it's all set up for you. So once you go into co-op, everything will be in Alaska for you, which we need and uh, you can actually switch locations once you're on online. So make sure you're all set up to go uh, to Alaska before you start this. And we do have some Roblox um, in our way if you are not far into it so this is the only truck pretty much that's gonna fit underneath the roadblock there um, so what we're gonna do you're gonna want to come out of our garage and we're gonna make a right hand turn you're gonna follow it all the way up to the gateway location right here and I'll bring you guys to the roadblocks just to kind of show you how to get around them with this vehicle it does take a little bit of finessing but not a whole lot so once you make it to the first roadblock here, you're going to want to use your wrench or wrench, whatever you want to call that damn thing. Anyways, you're going to want to shoot that across uh, to each pole here and drag yourself through. Um, a set of meaty tires is a definite plus. Uh, it most likely is going to be a need to get through this snow. Uh, sorry, my uh, thing kind of stopped and glitched there for a moment. Lovely PlayStation for us. Um, but anyways, all-wheel drive is definitely going to be a big key on this one as well. Uh, so if you we just can't fit any big vehicles, uh, once you get around this pipeline, um, by obviously working your way throughout the missions within Alaska, I have not done that yet. Um, but you just can work your way around them, and we can use this small little truck to do so. And this is the next roadblock here. You're just going to go on to the right or the left of it and scoot around the rocks super easy a big truck could make it around that one it's just the first one that stops the big trucks and then once you make it all the way up to the top of the mountain guys you're going to want to uh, travel to the mountain mountain river once you make it through there guys you're going to want to press up on the d-pad and go down to recover and then we're going to go ahead and do that once you're in here you're going to want to retain your truck once again Make sure I got nothing around and just the one truck in there. So then we're going to go back to main menu. Once that main menu loads back up, back into our co op, you can go to a private session so no one bothers you, of course. And then we're going to go back to the map there and we're going to look for our truck that's uh, going to be outside of the map. So when you first load in, don't actually do anything. Just go straight to your local map and locate your truck. Sometimes it might be up by the mountain gate uh, entrance to there, or it'll just be behind your garage. Mine just happened to be by my garage there. Once you get out, you're gonna wanna recover your truck once again. And this way here, once we go to our trucks, we're gonna have doubles. So you can keep reselling them. So once you get farther into it and you guys get all that road cleared up, you can do it with some really expensive trucks and make a lot of money. So I hope this helped you out at all, guys. If it did in any way, please share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.